They stood with me at a press conference outside the White House on a Thursday morning, and I broke the policy. I wore my full Navy uniform, and I prayed in Jesus' name on national television. I figure if they're going to punish chaplains who pray in Jesus' name, I want to be the first. I volunteer to violate this policy. So I go back to work. I show them the pictures of what I've done. They say, oh, we've got to punish you. Let's do it quietly with a piece of paper in your record. I said, no, no, I demand a trial. I have a legal right to a trial. They said, but it's a misdemeanor. It's like a speeding ticket. You can keep your career. I said, no, you're not hearing me. I demand a court martial. Well, God bless the Navy brass. They granted my request. So now it goes to a court martial, and there's a judge and a jury and a prosecutor, and I'm on defense for my faith. Anyone seen the inside of a courtroom in the Navy? What's that movie again? Oh, it's Tom Cruise. But this time, there's Colonel Jessup on the stand. You can't handle the truth. In this case, the truth was Jesus Christ, and the judge could not handle it. Guilty of worshiping in public in his Navy uniform, of violating the new Navy policy, of praying in Jesus' name outside of church. Tears of joy came to my eyes in that Virginia Beach courtroom because I was finally found worthy of sharing in Christ's suffering. And Peter and John, when they were flogged in Acts chapter 5, they rejoiced in suffering with Christ. That same day, uh, next slide please. 14 September 2006, the same day I was literally found guilty of worshiping in public in a Virginia Beach courtroom, a thousand miles off the Virginia coastline, Hurricane Gordon is swelling at full strength and my first name is Gordon. Glory to God! Hallelujah! God is doing signs and wonders in the heavens. 